Hello everybody. This is Mr. Everything coming to you from the base at Team Freedom Virtue Dimension. Now if you're watching this video you're probably either a new recruit to Team Freedom or you are um, interested in maybe joining Team Freedom or you found this on the Supergroup website uh, webpage at ScreamEagleAirsoft.com. Okay, some information you want to know. Who are we? Well, we are a group of casual players, um, casual adult role players that enjoy uh, City Heroes, uh, teaming, task forces, trials, hanging out together, role playing, anything fun basically. Okay, how we got started? Well, um, Team Freedom originated on uh, the Champion server, and then we uh, moved to uh, the Freedom server, and then we made a home on the Virtue server. That's why our name is Team Freedom Virtue Dimension. Uh, the Champion server was not populated enough. We didn't have enough players on there. Uh, we only picked Champion because we, the basic core group of guys that played, used to play champions, and we thought it was cool. Now, uh, why are we on, we went to freedom because there was a lot more players, but there wasn't any role playing. It was all power gaming, power hungry players that just wanted experience and rewards, and they were basically kind of uh, obnoxious and rude. So we moved to Virtue Dimension. Uh, Virtue is the name of the server that we play on. It uh, is full of role players. Role players stay on Virtue Dimension and uh, we don't have a whole lot of power gamers. There are a few, but it's mostly on Freedom and other servers. Let me tell you a little bit about me. Uh, my, my name is Mr. Everything. Uh, Mr. Everything was originally designed for a, uh, a champion's character, a champion's pen and paper character where uh, I don't know if you know anything about champions the pen and paper game but you could take a ton of disadvantages which would give you points and then you could pick powers and put limitations on those powers making them nearly uh, free almost free so this character was able to buy every power in the book um, with just enough limitations on it to make they weren't the greatest powers but he had every power and I, I came up with a name called Mr. Everything. Uh, this character is my blaster. He is the HMFIC of Team Freedom. I have some other characters, some other alt, alts, alternate characters. Uh, these characters are um, also in Team Freedom. Uh, there is a second Team Freedom out there, and there's also a second Team Freedom on the Virtue server. It's called Team Freedom Arcane Academy. Well, the Arcane Academy is pretty much defunct. If there are any members in the Arcane Academy and they want to transfer over to Team Freedom Virtue Dimension, just send me an email at Mr. Everything and I will tell you when I'll be on next so that we can get you switched over. Okay. Prestige in the supergroup. Uh, this prestige. When you when you enter a supergroup you have the choice of, of going into supergroup mode. Located right, it's located right there. Exit supergroup mode. Now I'm not going to exit supergroup mode, I'm going to stay in supergroup mode. But if you join supergroup mode, you start earning prestige. When you earn prestige, you get uh, points that goes towards the supergroup. The supergroup uses that prestige to purchase items like the supergroup like this supercomputer that is located behind me. Also, um, you can buy other things like salvage or teleporters or anything like that. And in my second video, I will be doing a tour of the base so you can know where everything's located in the base. Um, now, between levels 1 and 24, you, there is no penalty for being in supergroup mode. So our supergroup requires that you are in supergroup mode if you are level 1 through 24. After level 24, if you want to exit supergroup mode, you can. If you do, then you 
then you stop earning prestige for yourself, you stop earning prestige for the supergroup, and your money, is, you do not lose any money in the process. So as you go on missions, you get 100% of the money you would earn. If you stay in supergroup mode, you lose a little bit of that money that you would have earned on a mission, but you still earn prestige for yourself and the supergroup, but after level 24, you really shouldn't be worrying yourself about mission prestige or mission influence because you should be selling items in the, in the uh, Wentworth auction house or at trainers or wherever. You should be banking. You shouldn't be worrying about money. If you're worrying about money after level 24, then you need to evaluate your play style. Alts. Okay, if you want, if you've got multiple alts and you want to put them in the super group, you can just uh, just get them invited. Um, ranks, ranks in the in the super group. For your characters to earn rank in our super group, you have to earn prestige. Now you earn prestige by entering super group mode, and then when you uh, reach certain thresholds, an officer will promote you. If you see an officer on and you know that you've re reached a threshold but you haven't been promoted, drop him a tell. Send him a tell and say, hey man, I should be promoted. And then we will gladly look at your prestige on our roster and we will promote you. Here is an example. Let's go to Super. There's the Super Group. And if you just look at this guy right here, he's at 525,000 prestige. He's been logged off. 15 days, okay? If he's been logged off for more than 30 days, then you risk the chance of being kicked. Who will get kicked first? The person with the longest log off time. If you've been logged off the game for more than 30 days, and you're the longest, because I think I saw somebody in there with a 300 day log off time, if I click on invite someone to the supergroup and I get a message that says you can't invite them because the supergroup is full I will go back into the roster and I will kick whoever has the longest log off time but only if it's more than 30 days so if everybody is less than 30 days I'm not gonna kick anybody but if somebody is over 30 days and I run into that problem I will kick them so be sure to log on every 30 days that way you don't get kicked, okay? Um, make, it a, make it a point to log in every 30 days. That way you're never kicked. Uh, if, you, if you only log in for one second and then log off, that's fine. We have events every so often. Now we used to have it every Wednesday, we'd have a Richty Mothership Raid. We don't do that anymore. Um, if you, as a, as a player in the supergroup, want to organize an event, let me know about it and I'll put it out in a broadcast or I will put it on the web page. Um, that way we can get people excited about doing these events and uh, we can uh, promote the event. Um, am I running events? No. I'm having a good enough time, hard enough time, just organizing and running the supergroup itself. Do I need to organize some events? Sure. Do uh, don't have a lot of time to do it. If you have some time and you want to organize an event like a mothership raid or a bath or some kind of like a lamb does all the time or something like that and you want it to be team freedom sponsored costume contest whatever just let me know and we'll organize it in-game email does work okay if you have um, you need to get a hold of me and I'm not logged on use the in-game email you send it to at mr point space everything okay mister dot space everything and I will receive your email and I will reply to you and maybe we'll, I'll give you my real uh, email and we can communicate that way um, housing in the base uh, the base is fully stocked we have everything that a supergroup would need in their base. Um, check out the second video that will be the tour of the base but uh, we'll talk about salvage racks and uh, well let me talk about salvage racks now because this is the intro. 
The base is full. We have all the salvage racks we could possibly use or even have in a Subaru. So please stop sending me emails that ask me to add another salvage rack. I cannot. The base lot is the largest it can be. We have the biggest lot available. We have the most salvage racks available. Now, the only problem is they're full. They're overflowing. Salvage racks only hold 30 pieces of salvage and like almost all of them have 30 pieces of salvage. What I was trying to do was put five salvage racks or five pieces of, let me rephrase that. I was trying to put five different pieces of salvage on each rack. And then maybe five or six of each of those salvages on there. So the most you would see would be about 25, maybe 30 of each different salvage. Not 20 of one. Like on one salvage rack, I saw that we had 20 bore sites. We don't need 20 bore sites. So what I do is, and you can do the same, if you see anything with more than six of any one type or any one piece of salvage, take the excess. Take it with you, take it to the market and sell it. If you want to take it to uh, a store and sell it there, whatever, just get rid of it. Um, what we, and that'll benefit you in your influence. Um, that'll open up space in the salvage racks and other pieces of salvage that need to get in there can get in there. The first rank is rookie. Okay, Rookies get nothing. They do not have access to salvage. They do not have access to almost anything in the base. Um, if you earn your first 10,000 prestige and you get promoted to lieutenant, now almost everything gets access to. There is a rare salvage rack, which only rare salvages go on and is re reserved for high-ranking officers. So if you're not a high-ranking officer, don't put your uh, rare salvage on that unless you're just trying to get rid of it. Put it in your personal vault. Your personal vault can hold like 30 or more pieces of salvage. If you want to save something and not carry it around with you all the time, put it in your personal vault. All right, well that was the basic intro to all the pieces of Team Freedom. That's who we are, how we got started, a little bit about the base, the promotions, who gets kicked and why, alts, when we have events, like if you want to have like a, a party, you want to have a raid, uh, you want to have a costume contest, just let me know. In-game email does work, at Mr. Everything. Housing, we have housing in the base. Uh, there's enough space to, to, for a lot of different uh, houses. All I need to know is which lot you want and what you want put in it, and all. And maybe we can log in at the same time, and you know you can tell me where you want me to put everything, since I am the only base editor. There is a Team Freedom out there, Team Freedom Arcane Academy. We are no longer affiliated with them. If you have an Arcane Academy character and you want to move over to the main Team Freedom, let me know and we'll switch you over. All right, well that was Mr. Everything at Team Freedom and look forward to my second video, Base Tour.